Hey guys, it's Tamir from Microvillum. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to apply profile doors to this two door base cupboard. First of all, we're going to come in here and just click on our product prompts and left click on our unit here. And we're going to go ahead and come to our door style here. So, our door style menu is a user definable menu. So, the idea is, is you can save as many of these profile doors you build to this list and just select them as you need. So the door style that we're going to use and show you today, or its default is set up as a shaker um, panel here. So what we're going to do is now come into our sub-assembly prompts and just have a look at some of these options within this door. So if I left click on the door here with the sub-assembly prompt selected, what we're going to do is just have a look at some of our options here. So here's our width, height, so we've got our edge and our internal profile here. So the idea in here is you can come in and choose whatever edge profile you want and this is user definable same with our inner profile so you can mix and match uh, your edge and inner profiles to make up any sort of door style here so you've got options in here for the bottom um, pattern and the top pattern here so you just simply choose your different option of what you want the sort of top and bottom shape to be in this case here we're going to leave that square what we have here is we've got our top rail Measurement, so this is the distance from here to here, and left and right, top and bottom, etc. So I'm going to use that um, bottom rail adjustment when I apply the shaker profile to this panel here, just to show you how that works. So up here, we've got different uh, door types. So we can do a slab door, which is what we're going to do in this case. If we were on an upper cabinet, with a click of the button, we could change that to a glass door. Here's our panel insert, grooved panel insert option as well for our um, insert panels here's our door material here's our insert panel material over here we've got all our edge banding information we've got a switch here to pocket uh, the internal panel if we want to uh, we could also come in here and do a V groove on the internal panel or a frame door So just quickly over here we've got some hinge adjustments so very quickly and easily I could turn on a third hinge and position that hinge. Uh, materials in here and hardware. So what we're going to do here just to start off with I'm going to come in and let me see we're just going to change our edge profile to a chamfer and I'm going to go ahead and click grooved internal panel and hit OK. What you'll notice here just before I do that is you've got different save options here so I can save that just to the sub-assembly to the product or to the whole project making these sort of changes very quickly and making it possible to set up door styles uh, very quickly on the fly too for a particular project. But for now we'll just go ahead and save it just to that left hand door and we'll just give that a second to redraw and then we're going to have a look at the changes that that's made and we can just zoom in here and just holding down shift in my middle wheel I can sort of pan and look around and see exactly what that's done there. So if I come here to my sub-assembly prompts, this time I'm going to click on the right door. I'm just going to make a few more changes to that right door. What we might want to do here is change. Uh, we can just go back to, let me see, a beveled edge on our edge profile. Yeah, I'm happy with my beveled edge. And for my internal profile, I can change it to an OG. And what I'm going to do here is turn off the pocket internal door, so that's going to get rid of the rebate there. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. OK, so on here you're going to see a very different door style. So you can actually see in here that it's not going to work with that hinge mount there which is very good you know so straight away you're seeing there's a problem with that there so you've seen the problems before they ran run out on the machine and actually a real problem here and you can see that we've changed to that OG cutter there so now that you can see that this style isn't going to work with that hinge here we can very quickly just come into here and in this case we might look at this um, edge profile and just change that to a chamfer which isn't as much of an angle and you're going to see that that's going to miss that hinge. Okay. 
Okay, so you can see you can see now that we're sort of clearing all of that there, which is perfect. So what we might want to do now is just have a quick look here at the door. So sorry, the end panel. So if I come into my subassembly prompts and just click on our options here, it's got to choose sort of what level of the subassembly we want to go to here. We've got um, sort of two subassemblies. So first, what we're going to do is go to the end panel. So we're going to hit no, and we're going to turn on the profile subassembly here, which in this case is going to be that standard shaker that we've got there. Again, when I was modifying this door here, if I had to save the changes um, to the project instead of just to the door, I'd be seeing all of this set up on this door. Sorry, on this end panel now. So this time here, we're going to hit yes and go into the end panel itself, all the options for the profile. So we're going to get this looking similar to this door here. So we're going to go groove internal. And what I'm going to do in here is set that bottom rail just so it's sort of lining up through here. So we're just basically adding that toe kick height onto that bottom rail amount there. And we're just going to hit OK and save here. So you'll notice now what's going to happen is it's going to groove the panel and it's going to lift up that bottom rail up to be in line with that other door there on the right. So on here you can see exactly what's going on. You can see we've got our V grooves in here, we've got our cutout in here. It's going to be doing all your perfect cornering in here too. And what I have here just in my composite drawing is I've actually got nest patterns off those doors here. So if we zoom in you can see your border cut around here. You can see your perfect cornering in here. If I click on this profile, you can see it's doing the angle around here. And it's sort of going into into the corners and up into the corners as well. Along with our grooves in here. And our big pocket in here. Here's our OG tool running around here. And here's the other door that we looked at. Thank you for watching.